Hello and welcome back to one of my videos. Today I wanted to make one of those classic videos that everybody makes and it's a studio tour vlog. My studio isn't huge, it's actually an old cubby house that I renovated back in 2018 to turn it into a little tiny home-esque studio. So it has everything I need. It has all my paints. It has somewhere comfortable to sit. It has good lighting. The only thing it's missing is running water, but it's literally a few feet from my house. So not a big deal. <laughs> so I wanted to show you around where I work and it may give you some ideas of what you may need or what you don't need in your own sort of area that you do art. So I hope you enjoy my little studio tour and let's get started. Welcome to my desk. <laughs> so I try and keep my desk pretty simple because when I have the watercolor palette and the sketchbook and everything it does tend to get a bit crowded so um, there's not much on it to start off with apart from my empty teacup which I will put elsewhere. So on my desk I've basically got my collection of paintbrushes. These are ones that I don't usually use that often but they're just good scrappy paintbrushes if I need them. And I've also got a storage container for my water colors. So if we open up the box, inside is my collection of Montmartre watercolors and I've also got my Montmartre paintbrushes as well. So this was basically a collection of paintbrushes. Um, they're all actually meant to be sitting in their little houses but I haven't packed them away very well. But it's a cute little bag and it zips up around the side so that's quite nice. All these paints here are two collections of Montmartre paints. There's like a general one that has like just heaps of random colors and then there were a two seasons ones as well so that was like more autumnal colors and like lavender and more pastel-y colors. So also on my desk I've got my trusty jar that just holds water for watercolor and a cute little fake planty thing. I've also got a downlight here that illuminates where I'm working so I can actually see what I'm painting because it does tend to get a bit dark in here so hence the light. And above the light I've got a shelf full of pens and pencils that I use on a regular basis. Then to the right of that I've also got a little collection of colour pencils. These were actually like little plant pot things that you meant to put herbs in but I thought they were cute for pencils so that's what I use them for. And um, my small collection of watercolour pencils. I don't really use watercolour pencils at all so hence the little collection. <laughs> Then above that, I've just got a very small collection of acrylic paints. I don't use acrylics at all, but this is more for just painting like random things that need painting, like statues and stuff around the place. Um, so it's just a place to store them really. And then I've also got uh, a varnish there and a, another varnish, I'm pretty sure that is for decoupaging, which I did once, I really enjoyed it and I need to try and do that again. I've also got like a couple of gel pens here, I'm not sure why but that's where they live. And these are actually coffee jar lids that I've just sort of dissected so that they've become a pot really um, to just put paints in. And then above all that I've got a crappy little painting that I did and another two paintings over here. This one here is my favourite, that's a sketch of another artwork so that is not an original idea at all. Um, but I just thought it turned out so well, I thought I may as well frame it. And then these two are originals as you can tell because they're a bit shitty. So that is basically like the main workspace of the studio. It has everything I need at hand and anything else I store in another area because I don't use it that often. Also importantly under the desk is a heater because it gets cold. <laughs> So going from this side of the room, we quickly just jump over to this side of the room. <laughs> um, as you can see, the floor space is minimal in here. It's an old cubby house, like I said, but um, it does what I need it to do. So that's the main thing. So on this side, I have an old painting that I framed. Um, I just sort of quite like the lack of colors, the aesthetic of it. It's just fields and hills. Um, and then I've just got a few decorative items. My collection of ribbons, because you never know when you need ribbons and just jars that I collect because um, little jars are very cute. I don't want to ever throw them away and um, they're useful for like painting on the go so that's where I store them. I've also got a little candle there and then a marble dinosaur and another fake plant. Can't have enough fake plants. Just above my little window is a cute sort of shelf that I've made. So I've got a lovely chicken. I think it's meant to be a paperweight, but it sits on my shelf happily. Um, a couple candles, which I never light. And a little hedgehog that's reading a book under a toadstool. Um, I don't know where I got that from, but it was too cute. I just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't not buy it, so I got it. <laughs> And on the windowsill I've got another fake plant which is meant to be lavender and then just shells. And beside that is a painting that I picked up in Paris from Montmartre and that's a acrylic little Paris scene. 
Um, so I wanted to put it there as a bit of inspiration. Not that I'll probably ever paint on canvas, but <laughs> if I ever do, I'll try and replicate that horribly. Um, and that will be like my first sort of thing that I try and learn. But one day, one day, we'll get there. I've also got a little staircase in here. Under the staircase um, is just a storage of, well, there's a broken alien there that I need to fix, um, some wood that I need to <laughs> work with, and um, just storage, basically. And this here is basically a box that you can store more paints in and also you can angle like that you're drawing on it. So it's an easel basically. Um, so I've used that a couple of times and I need to use that more because I'm I, I usually just paint flat but apparently you should be painting on an angle so gotta practice that. Then above the staircase I've just got a cheap little clock that I thought was quite cute. Um, it, I think it was only five dollars from Spotlight uh, but I like the design so I got that. And then this frame here is a shell that I got from Portsmouth um, I thought it was nice again. I've still got like a shell and flower theme going on here. <laughs> and then over this way is just more storage where I keep my palettes when I'm not using it. There's some lights that I need to hang up there and then just empty storage really. There's not too much that I store in here at the moment. Then behind there I've got another box uh, full of oil paints that I was given. I haven't yet tried oil paints. I think there's a couple of canvases in there too. Um, one day, one day there will be some experimenting, but for now I'm happy just with watercolour because I haven't learnt enough of that yet. So that's my view of my little art studio where I create the majority of my work. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I am quite happy with how this turned out because if you saw what it was before, I should have taken some before and after pictures, but it was honestly, it was full of junk. Um, and because this is sort of two levels, like this here, was the ceiling. This piece of wood here is about the height of my neck so it was just constantly stooped and it was dark and horrible so actually opening this up has been just yeah it's made such a big difference. It's so light and airy in here now which is fantastic. So thank you very much for watching my little studio tour. Um, this has been a long time in the making because I kept on putting it off because I didn't think it looked as good as other people's studios and it didn't have enough knickknackies in but I thought hey why not just <laughs> just record it now and then if it gets better I can always do an update video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye!